thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, how exciting. Hello, Internet. Welcome to the Video Game Game Show show. All hail King Rob. Better work, hadn't it? Good, uh, good luck. Hello, hello, the internet. Welcome to this uh, very last minute experiment. About two hours ago, uh, me and Rob uh, Sedgbeard decided we would attempt to do something we've never done before. It's incredibly complicated. We've tested it with these guys and it sort of works, so hopefully it will for you too. But uh, allow me to explain what you need to do if you're watching this online and then we'll get stuck into it. So, uh, the video game game show show is a show created by Rob Sedgbeard of Wi Fi Wars. And what we're going to attempt to do tonight is effectively do a show, uh, the, a TV show but only one man will be doing all the work. So the first thing you need to do is watch this on your computer or your telly and on your phone, go to stream.wifiwars.co.uk. That's stream.wifiwars.co.uk. You'll see it on your screens. And if you log in on there, you'll put in your name and give us a selfie and then you're going to be logged in. The way the video game game show show is going to work this evening is in a moment I've got two comedians who are going to be team captains. One of them is a team captain for the Royal Institution. <laughs> They've been prepped. That's very good. Uh, and the other captain is going to be for you, the world. Yeah. But I can hear you cheering on the internet. That's fine. Um, sometimes they'll be playing games. and You'll be voting on who you think is going to win. But also sometimes we're going to get everyone here, hopefully, to compete on video games against all of you live. So effectively, this is our first attempt at doing a live global TV broadcast where the entire audience, both in the studio and on the planet, can all play all of the games against each other and one of you maybe here maybe there will win the entire show i hope are you all right rob yeah. is it all basically working yeah. We're going to have a go then. So um, if you haven't already, go to stream.wifiwars.co.uk and log in on your phones if you're watching this on the internet. They're already logged in. How many have I got on the show at the moment? Uh, you've got 91 here and 45 out there. 91 here, 45 there. Don't worry if there's less of you. It will be weighted accordingly. So if you're better at games, you will beat them. And uh, in the practice we did earlier, you did. Uh, so let's, <laughs> let's find out how we get on. Um, we're going to crack on with it if you're happy to, Rob. We're going to go for it. Okay, so the first team captain is team captain for these lovely people at the Royal Institution. He's an incredible comedian. He was on Go 8 Bit DL see as the overly enthusiastic but incredibly sexy presenter. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the incredible Richard Soames! Hello. Hello, mate. Hello, how are you? I'm very good, how are you? Good. Yeah, fine. Welcome to the internet. Thank you. Hello. There we go. That's what we look like, if you're wondering what it is. We've got a little oh. monitor in here as well. I mean, it's a shame, isn't yeah. it? Uh, welcome. So you are the captain for these guys. Um, yes. When I phoned you less than two hours ago and asked mm. you to cancel all your puns and come here, what was that like? Are you... Uh, it, well, it was good. I, I'm not a very busy human, so it was fine. Oh, yeah, uh, since the Go 8-Bit DLC thing, it's just... Yeah, put the carbon back in the fridge. And yeah, then, me too. You know. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, look, you are the captain for these guys. Uh, we're going to get out your nemesis in a moment, uh, but uh, you feeling confident? Uh, yes. These guys lost in rehearsal, so I don't know why, but that's all right. Good. Might be better next time. Never mind. Well, yeah. let's get the other team captain in for the red team, the internet, you guys. An incredible comedian. She was also on Go 8-Bit, the, the, the other one, DLC and Go 8-Bit. We got one of each. I didn't realise until I said it then. Uh, she's an incredible comedian. You're going to love her. Put your hands together for Beck here. Hello, welcome, welcome. Some booze. It's a bit panto, but that's all right. Beck Hill, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm all right. I'm Good. terrified. Uh, we genuinely didn't think we were going to do this. Um, feeling confident? The internet, the, the guys that we pretended to be the internet earlier were much, much better. Yeah, we did really well in the little run well, We put through. gamers on the internet team and you, you crushed it, so. Yeah, yeah, that's right, exactly. Because uh, the proper gamers don't leave their house. No, so no, they're all there. Yeah. These also, guys, well, rah, no. <laughs> like actual gamers. Ouch. Get, yeah. Well, we'll see. I need the money. Well, they, they booed me. I don't care. <laughs> so Fine. All right, well, I'm on your side. Let's crack on because I know you've got another gig to go to. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're going to attempt to play the first game. Um, later on, you guys are going to be competing head to head. But before that, we're going to try to get a game that you're all going to play. Um, if you know this game, make some noise, show some love for the first game of the night. We're all, including you, going to attempt to play Pac Man! Yay! Right, so let me explain how this game's going to work. In a moment, using some sort of wizard magic, Rob Sedgbeer is going to beam Pac-Man into all of your phones, both here at the Royal Institution and you out there on planet Earth. The way the game works is it uses swipe controls. A swipe up, down, left and right to move Pac-Man. Eat the pellets, and if you eat the big power pellets, the ghost will turn blue and you can gobble them up. The idea, obviously, is to score the most points, and whichever team collectively scores the most points will win. Internet people, don't worry. We will weight your score accordingly, so if there's half as many of you, your points
points will be worth twice as much. So it will be best gameplay wins. That is the game. Hopefully that will make sense. So make sure you're in your browsers. You should have a standby message at the moment. Guys, are you in there? Make sure you're active because we don't need you. Yeah, you, you will need your phones too. Everybody will need your phones. That is the game. Yep, good, you're in. So before we can do anything, this is our first test to see if the tech works. We're going to ask everybody a yes, no question to decide how many points are at stake. I'm going to ask you for the first one, Richard. So anything you'd like to ask the people here and online uh, to set the points at stake in this first round. Uh, is Doctor Who just for kids? <gasps> Is Doctor Who just for kids? For kids, kids. Not kids. I've had a long day. <laughs> let, it, let it go. Let it go. Is Doctor Who just for kids? Rob, is it in the system? Yeah. Place your votes. If you think Doctor Who is just for kids, pick yes. If you think no, it is for kids of all ages or grown-ups as well, then pick no. What well, if you I've think got it's for baby goats? Oh, if it's for yeah. baby goats, yeah. that's. Oh, I see. Uh, Wordplay. Okay. Come master. Uh, let's find out. Oh, all right. 22% yeah. said yes. That's yes. about right. That's okay. 22% right. say no. 22 people are bad. <laughs> yeah, they are. Well, 22% are bad. That's more than 22, I think. Oh, that's but right, yeah. Nevertheless, 78 <laughs> points at stake it is a big one. Right. Um, feeling confident? No. Okie dokie. <laughs> so if that didn't work for you here or on the internet, just refresh your browser so you're ready to go. In a moment, we're going to beam the game out to all of you. What's the number I'm looking for before we actually make things happen, Rob? Uh, 150. 150? All right. Uh, I mean, I'm worried I can't see anything. Oh, it's there. 149, I'll take it. 150, that was quick. Boom. I like you. So in theory, 150 people, both here and on the internet, have just had Pac-Man put in their phones. We're going to compete, and whichever team does the best is going to... Well, well, we'll just see, won't we? I can't put it off anymore. <laughs> this is this is it. Um, of course, we will not play the game unless you all shout the catchphrase. It's Let's Do A Gaming. I'll go over to my little desk. One, two, three! Let's do a gaming! Good luck, everybody. We are off. So we've got 60 seconds on the board, and we're waiting for teams to start scoring points, and then... There they are. I can tell you that after the first 10 seconds, it's very, very close. Both teams, about 25,000 points. Not much in it at all. Could we take a look at um, Richard Soames' gameplay? He's already died once. I can see that from the screen. So Richard has died once already. Ghost! How are you feeling about that, Richard? Uh, don't just kill the ghost, so my life has meaning. Okie dokie. Uh, what about Beck? Can I check in with Beck and see how she's getting on in the gameplay as well, please? Richard managed to gobble up a ghost there just as we left her. Very messy approach to the game, Beck. That's sort of grabbing random pellets here and there. There's no real sense of cohesion to that. What's your strategy? Uh, get sweaty fingers so it's hard to swipe. Right, oh, 20 seconds left, and I can tell you the world are winning. 250,000 for them, only 230,000 for the Royal Institution. You need to raise your game, guys. At the moment, the internet, there's half many of them, and they are beating you. 10 seconds left. How many active players, Rob? 150, it worked. All hail King Rob! All hail King Rob! They're happy in here for that, but sadly it's not good enough. That is a victory for the world! Yeah! yeah. Why are you You lost. I was doing a curse you. Oh, I see. Okay, there's your delicious points, Beck. Yeah. Congratulations, 78 to you. Uh, but... Do not be disheartened, Ed, people here and also online, because Wi-Fi Wars isn't just a team sport, uh, neither is the video game game show show, it is an individual sport as well. Mm. And so while we were playing that game, we were watching everybody playing, uh, and we can uh, see how they got on. Can I see the points please, Rob? Okay, look at that, Tamas, where are you Tamas? All the way in the back row, hello. Uh, Tamas was the best player at that, 5,860. Gordy there, Big Bad Tom A, the best of the onlines. G-Dog, a regular, fourth, mate. He's gutted. He is gutted. He's putting on a brave face. Can I turn that into points, please, Rob? There we go. So you're all ranked now. 100 points the best. And the stakes are high because whoever's at the top of that scoreboard at the end of the show will be going home with their very own copy of Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. There it is. Whoa. I know. Five quid on CD keys. It's not a huge amount of money. <laughs> it's the principle, isn't it? So whoever is best overall will win that game. Uh, Rob, based on how that's gone, are you happy to do another thing? All right, good. Well, look, um, I'll explain the next game. Slightly different. We're all going to take a break and watch these two. Uh, go 8-bit. Um, when we're doing a video gaming thing, we'll always uh, do a little VT, explain all the things you need to but go, sort of know about the game. So we're going to do the same now. If you know this game, show some love. Make some noise for Mario Kart 64! Yeah! Yeah! There it is. I, I know. So, Mario Kart 64 is a racing game. That's it. Uh, so today, uh, it's, it, 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 it's that straightforward. Uh, Richard, have you ever played this before? Uh, I did. I spent uh, much of my uh, youth uh, playing this game, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Did you have a preferred driver when you when you were playing it? Yoshi. Not the one we've given you? No. Never mind. Uh, but you see, so you played this a lot. This was like university, was it? Yeah, it's going to be really embarrassing now if I lose. Yes, but, it is. But, uh, That's yeah. why I asked. Good. Uh, Beck, how about you? Yes. 
I love it. I love playing because I, I can't drive in real life, so that's the only chance I get. Wow, okay. Yeah, All right. yeah. Are, you, are you better on this than you would be on the roads? I think part of the reason I can't drive in real life is because I drive like I do in this. You please never get your license. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, fine. Yes, Rob? She would be better at this than she was at Formula One Racing Simulator. Don't pick on her. Don't you heckle. Oh, the game that I hadn't played until you put me on television. Don't, don't pick on her. You can't see it. He's being very cheeky. You've it's got cocky. It's because it worked. I hope it crashes now. I don't. <laughs> Look, uh, what we're going to do this time is, based on what you've heard from the two guys, we're going to set the points by deciding who we think is going to win. So before we do that, anything else you'd like to say to the people watching to convince them that you are going to be the victorious one on Mario Kart? Um, I know the shortcuts in Cooper Trooper Beach. We're not doing that level. Okay. Next. We're not doing that level. Okay. <laughs> if you think Richard Soames has got this in the bag, pick his face. If you think Beck Hill's going to win, pick hers. Now, you don't have to be loyal to your oh, team yeah. because you will determine the number of points at stake in this round by your votes. They let their phones lock. Don't you be those guys. Yeah, don't be those. you've got other jobs. Beck didn't get a chance to vote. Did, Richard did. Get to vote. Oh, look at that. 69% oh. have got behind Richard yeah. there. 31% for the world. Leave it. Uh, that means there are 69 <laughs> points at stake. <laughs> Kids here. 69 points. Voted. There are 69 points at stake, which is a number that is fine. That is how many points at stake. Rob, are you happy? Going to activate the game. You've got your controllers. Don't touch anything yes. until I ask you to. Best of luck. Rob's going to get the game fired up. When you're ready, Rob, let me have it. Yes, um, you need to do catchphrase. I'm going to do the catchphrase when I see the game. I'm terrified I'll shout it, and then it'll all be awkward. You've got really cheeky since it worked, haven't you? <laughs> I love you, Rob. Please don't leave me. You ready? You happy? Yeah. All right, good. He won't let you play it unless you shout it. Let's do a gaming. One, two, three. Let's do a gaming. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Uh, see, that now there's a beat. Now there's a beat, Rob. This is why I didn't wait. Richard, would you like to press A? And uh, just kill right. the momentum. Good. Good <laughs> luck. Here we go. Um, if you've got a favourite, please get behind them. I should explain, Richard is Mario on the top. Uh, Beck is Luigi on the bottom. So if you're supporting locally here at the Royal Institution, you're rooting for Mario. If you believe Sammy. Beck's got this, you're Luigi. And it is very close. Beck currently second, Richard fifth, but, but nothing in it. Bit of an early steer, Richard. Bit of an early steer. Richard Taller, so slightly on the screen. There yes. we go. Richard overtakes. He is in first place. Beck, though, is second. It's going to be a close one. This could come down to lightning bolts on the uh, jump, I think. Ah. And, uh, while we're doing that, I'm going to check in with the chat. I can see that uh, Voltmog says, come on, Luigi. Sparkrat says, I have never supported Luigi. Fair enough, shame on you. But go Luigi anyway. That's good. You've got behind your team, even though you hate oh. Luigi. Big Bad Tom A says, come on, Beck. Big Bad Tom A's behind your back. And uh, maybe that's the ball help. Beck Hill in first place in this first lap. 45 seconds have gone. We're coming around to the jump very, very soon. Beck Hill's got a power up. What's it going to be? Beck Hill has got bananas. Not bad. A trail of bananas very useful if somebody sweeps behind you. But Richard Soames taking the better line on that corner. Ooh! The invisibility gets him away with it. Incredible. First place for Richard Soames. Second first. It is so close. I cannot thank you two enough for making this such a good race. <laughs> Coming down the bottom now, so I'm going to loop round to the right in a moment. And then we'll come on to the jump. The crowd literally going, well, can you go to the wide shot and show the internet what's going on, Rob? Rob, can you go to the wide and show them the people? Uh, so at the moment, fifth place, there we go. That's, that's what it looks like back here. They're very excited, but they now can't see the game. Oh, no, they can on the big screen there, all right. Fifth place for Richard Soames now. First place. For Luigi, how are you feeling, Beck? Confident? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, turning your body won't make the corners go better. Just a little pro tip <laughs> for the pair of you. Uh, second place, first place now. Beck overtakes, but bumps in the wall. That's not help. So he's using his red shell. Maybe a bad idea. You're using that on one of the com computer players rather than her. But uh, it's not bad. You're going to take third just as you cross the line. Beck Hill, not much of a lead at all. That is incredibly close. We go to lap two. Uh, fun fact, before we went live, we did suggest maybe changing this to a shorter track, and neither of us remembered to do that. <laughs> so we're going all the way. Ah. It's going to be a six-minute race, and Richard Soames is going to be late for his other gig. The star is helpful. Here he comes. Can he take her out as well, though? Pet goes wide. Richard Soames now back in the lead. Lap two. Ah. Richard Soames gets an upside-down question block. You never get the good power-ups when you're in the lead. That's the pity of it. That is the pity of it, but it doesn't matter. Oh, dodges the banana, but only just... Peck Hill, though, there's a not. Are you doing that on purpose? Don't even worry about it. I got this. That's ridiculous. Uh, Luigi in second place. Slow down a little bit there. Beck, keep your finger on the throttle. Third place now. Tide overtakes because Beck took her finger off for a second there. Three green shells. My favourite of the power ups in Mario Kart 64. Not a popular choice. The reds are obviously the best ones, but the greens are good. Get them rotating around you, and anybody that comes anywhere near is going to get damage. There are you, so many bananas. If I was you, well, yes, it's Mario Kart. <laughs> if I was you, I'd drop the question block and use the shells, but you know, you're in charge. Maybe there. Perfect. That is sexy.
I'm very impressed. First place for Richard Soames, third for uh, Luigi. The question block already gone, thankfully, so there's no damage there. Three mushrooms is going to put Beck in with a chance of catching up here. She's going to overtake Peach on this bottom bend. Then it's going to come back round. Timing this just right for a good boost over the hill. It's, you could do this. You've still got this. It's not over, Beck. What's the internet saying? Come on, says Metal Fairy. Beck, go on now, says Badger Mama. Blue shell, please, says Big Bad Tommy. There's no blue shells in Mario Kart 64, I don't think. Or are there? There's not, are there? Are there? No. We've agreed there are. Second place, back to ball. The star. This got Richard Soames into first place on the last lap. Now, here comes Beck Hill. Little bit of a strong lead for Richard Soames, but catching. Very, very strong. Careful. Oh, a little bit preempting the corner. Richard Soames starting to open up a lead now. He's got two green shells. He's got a banana in backup as well. Beck Hill got nothing. What's she going to get? We could do with another star or some mushrooms. Come on. Three red shells. Yes, please. Right. He's got. Take your time, he's got two green shells, so you're not going to do any damage while he's still got them, but you can actually uh, remove his protection back if you time them well. There's a nice long straight coming up, there's a left and a right, and then it's a long straight, that's your chance to use it. Got the ghost, ghost no use to you, ghost no use to you. Beck when we did this online the other week, Sam did pull it back on the final few bends, so you can pull it back, it isn't over. The red shell's all gone though, lost them to Princess Peach. Uses the ghost, gets another three, that is six red shells. Richard's still clinging on with two greens and a banana. You've gone incredibly quiet, Richard. Let Thank me you. check in with you and try to put you off. How's it going? Uh, uh, talk me through your game, Richard. Uh, what? Don't talk to me now. Talk and play, mate. Talk and play. How are you feeling? What's your favourite colour, Richard? What's six times 12? No, Richard. 52. Richard. Yeah, step on, God. Still first place. Second place again for Beck. Struggling to pull it back to first. Richard's lead seemingly insurmountable. But two red shells. You've got to start using them and start thinking about getting alternatives, Beck. There is not a lot of race left. Does anybody here believe Beck can do it at this point? No. Unanimous no. Richard Soames now, penultimate bends. He goes into the wall. He glitches. Here comes Beck Hill. She also messes up. She's got the bananas. There's not a lot in it. A good final bend here could pull back back. She's crashing the wall. That's, gonna, that's not going to help. It's not. Throw the bananas forwards. Throw, 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 throw. Throw the bananas. Couldn't be done. That is a victory for Richard Soames. I didn't waste my teenage years, Mum. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, that was uh, incredibly close, and that is satisfying for the show. That makes that makes it everything to play for. Uh, well, Beck, what went wrong? Let's come to you first of all. What what happened? Uh, I just did too well, too fast, and then that meant that Richard got some very very nice question marks. Right. So you lost because you were too good. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's that's what I'm saying. All right. Yeah, fine. yeah. How do you feel about that? I felt like my knowledge of Cooper Trooper Beach came in really handy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly did. Well, look, um, we're going to check in with how the guys voted. Um, we, we award them points based on how quickly they voted for you on this one. So these guys all voted for you, but nice. Pope Peter 45 actually voted for you in 0 0.05 seconds. That you preempted that incredibly. Was that you? Such That's incredible. Uh, what does that do to the scores overall, please, Rob? Those guys all get 69, but what does that do in total? Okay, Tamas, where are you, Tamas? You're still first place, 169, but only one point ahead of Gordy, G Dog, Ruby, Wil Wild Web, Pappy Edwin on the internet. You are the best of the Reds. Sixth place. Only six, play six points behind the top. That's very, very close. Um, right, well, we're going to mix it up now, Rob, and try something else. Uh, I think, actually, you know what? I think he has yeah. earned it. If things go well here, we all, of course, shout, All Hail King Rob. It would mean the world to him if we did, because no one's ever done this before, I don't think. All Hail King Rob. One, two, three. All Hail King yeah. Rob. Fill that chat with it as well. This is incredible. Well done to you, Rob. Uh, we're going to do something relatively straightforward now. You guys will need your phones, so will all of you. So will all of you guys. It's my favourite thing at the video game game show show. It's time for a video Video game quiz! Ooh. Oh, yeah, so we've got five questions uh, about last week's Go 8 bit games, I believe, uh, and you're going to get four possible answers. The good news here is if you're rubbish at the games that you've been playing, or rubbish at voting on who's going to win, you will get 25 points for yourself for every correct answer in the quiz. So it's a chance to pull yourself up the leaderboard. So you need to be good at the quiz now, sir. It's not just about video games. Quiz will decide if you're still on top. And whichever team collectively do the best will win the points. So we need to find out how many points are at stake in the quiz. Beck, I'd like a yes-no question uh, to ask everybody for this quiz, please. Um, do you 
like the theme tune to Madam in the Middle by uh, They Might Be Giants. Do you, that's, Rob's got to type that. Uh, <laughs> you all heard it. Just go theme tune. Do you like the theme tune to Malcolm in the Middle by They Might Be Giants? Yeah. Is the question. Yeah. Rob will write a shorter version of that and beam it to your phones. Let me know when you're ready. You're not typing the whole thing, are you? No, good. Place your votes. If you do like the theme tune to Malcolm in the Middle, pick yes. If you don't, pick no. Uh, you've got six seconds left to make your mind up. Uh, if it's not working for you, just have a quick refresh and it will come to you again in a minute. Two seconds left. Is, I mean, I don't even know what it is, but uh, let's find out if they like it. Can you sing it for us? We're not making a do that. 56% do like it. There are 56 points at stake. Are you happy with that result or are you annoyed? Uh, it's, I was more just trying to be a, a smart bum. You try to be a smart bum by oh, making yeah, Rob type a long thing. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. cruel. All right, fine. I should say to everybody here as well and also watching online, we will, it is these two guys doing the online version tomorrow. So if you want to watch this online, wifiwars.co.uk, go there and yeah. we'll be doing this again Don't online. Don't know how you're watching it now. <laughs> uh, I also have no idea, but it seems to be working. Um, so we're going to do a quiz. We've got five questions. Rob, I'll have the first question, please. And the first question is, Virtua Fighter was made by Sega, but by which studio? Place your votes. Was it AM1, AM2, AM3, or AM4? Virtual Fighter was made by Sega, but by which studio? AM1, AM2, AM3, AM4? Two seconds left. Now, the correct answer, of course, Richard, was? AM9? No. no. It was AM2. Did you get that right? I did. I got no, it. you did not. Let's find out how your team's got on, first of all. Here we go. It's more than a quarter. That's more than a quarter. Yeah! Did they Google it, though? Because that's... There's not time to Google it. 78 points for 32. Shame on you for suggesting that. We'll go to question two. The next question, Rob, please, is... In Alien Isolation, the main character, Amanda, is related to Ellen Ripley. But how? Is she the sister of Ellen? Is she the daughter of Ellen? Aunt of Ellen? Or the niece of Ellen? Ellen, of course, the original uh, Ripley character in the first Alien movie. But how is the character in the game related to them? The correct answer, Beck, of course, was... Niece? No. Oh. Uh, it was daughter. She was the daughter. No one here got that right, I don't think. Well, we'll find out a few fist pumps. Let's see how your team's got on. 25 will be random chance, of course. So if it's less than that, it's a bit embarrassing. No, you're both fine. Here they come again. Wow. Oh, my good Lord. Very good. 89%. I get them wrong 36. so that they can get them right. I think, I think I've just realised what's happened. Indeed, because um, we only decided we would do this about an hour and a half ago, we just copied the questions that we did on Monday's online stream. So I am like, <laughs> you're going to lose this. Uh, <laughs> there's games, you'll be fine. Question three, let's get through it before they turn ugly. Worms Armageddon was originally going to be an expansion pack for which game? Worms, Worms 2, Worms 3D or Worms 4? Worms Armageddon was going to just be an expansion pack, not its own game. But for which game? Worms Armageddon was going to be an expansion pack for... Worms 2. Let's see by how much you beat them. <laughs> Here come the points. Oh. We're getting better. Give you the an I could mouth the answers to you, that's true. I'll start doing that. 81 plays 40. Yeah, I mean, it's horrible. Question 4 is... <laughs> Didn't think that through. Shovel Knight was published by which company? Was it Bridge Club Games? Was it Yacht Club Games? Was it Strip Club Games? Was it Fight Club Games? Four seconds left. Make your choice. Shovel Knight was published by one of those companies. But which one? Correct answer, Richard, was? Yacht Club Games. That's right, because I you told you. Uh, let's see how he got on. Given I told you, did you manage to beat them this time? If not, <laughs> it's on you at this point, isn't it? Surely we get 100%. I literally told them the answer. That's about less than half of you. That's the worst you've done. All right, one more. Uh, I think we know who's going to win, but let's do the final question. And this is about the end game on last week's show. Here it is. Who created the vertical shooter finale game on the TV show Dara Brings Great Bit? Was it series director Steve Smith, series producer Darren Soule, executive producer Don L. Taffner, or King Rob? All hail King Rob. For all hail King Rob. It was, of course, off with his head. Who shouted that? Get out. <laughs> Time is up. King Rob, all hail King Rob, quite right. Yes. Let's uh, see how that got with the scores. That's too long, so it's bumped the scores off the bottom. That's a pity, isn't it? Here we go. Surely 100% on both teams. Oh, you're in the room with him. Overall scores. That is clearly a victory. We didn't think that through. My apologies to you. And they've paid, you haven't. But that is a victory for the world. <laughs> Tough room. But it's for half points. <laughs> is it really? You could just not... We'll give them some points. It's fair enough. You can still beat them. We've got loads more games to play. I need to check what time it is. 
Oh yeah, we're alright, we've got a bit of time left. Okay, uh, we're going to let you two play another video game before we oh. all play a video game together. Um, this ne Oh, sorry, yes, you're quite right. There we go, so, a duck <laughs> and burger wizard. Where are you, a duck wow. and burger wizard? Well done, so you, it wasn't your fault, you got all of them right, well done to you. Overall scores please, Rob? Burger Wizard here, now in the top. M's online in second, Sir Biggin in third. Poe Peter, 45 in fourth, and Jubarella in fifth. Well done to you, G-Dog is sixth. Sorry, G-Dog, never mind. Uh, we're going to play another video game. It's going to be head-to-head, -head, so we're going to vote on who's going to win. Ah. And the game that we're going to be playing, it's another classic, it's Sonic the Hedgehog 2! Ooh. I know. So, this one actually does need explaining, because not everybody's familiar with the multiplayer. So, you guys are going to go head-to-head -head on a series of courses on the game, and there are five criteria for winning. There's score, the time it takes you to do it, the total rings you collected, the rings you're still holding at the end of the level, and the number of item boxes you popped open. Okay, so there are five ways to win. Whichever one of you wins the most of those wins the round. Mm. It's incredibly complicated, but I'm not going anywhere. So that's the game, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Richard, have you ever played Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Are you, are you more Nintendo? Because you said you've got the card. Yeah, I, I'm aware of it. I've, I've okay. seen it played. You've heard of Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah, I have. He's this guy who's very fast. Not a guy, he's a hedgehog. Right. Can you see the name? Yeah, yeah, but he somehow buys red shoes, so I figured... Yeah, must have all right, well, it doesn't sort of sound like enough. How about you? Were you Sega? I was Sega Master System uh, all the way. Did you have the Master System version of this? Yeah, okay. yeah, I did. So it's a slightly different game, but you, have, you are familiar with the Hedgehog. I am familiar with the, with the Hedge. All right, fine. Yeah. Well, look, it'd be That's a shame. we call each other. Oh, the Hedge, the Hedge, yeah. the Hedge. Beck and the Hedge. Yeah. Fine. Well, you've heard from both of them. Beck's clearly got the advantage here, but Richard is very lucky. Uh, so let's find <laughs> out. Place your votes. Who do you think is going to win? If you think Richard somehow is going to win this, he won Mario Kart. I vote did. for Richard. If you think Beck Hill's got this in the bag, she had this back in the day. Pick Beck's face. You voted for yourselves, which is very confident, but are your teams loyal? Let's find out. Time is up. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, 66%. So a lot of you have yeah, jumped boy. ship at this point. Fair, I don't blame you. That means there are 66 points at stake and no pressure, but for the show to have narrative satisfaction, we do need you to win to keep it close. Okay. All right? Yeah. yeah. Good, great. So you've got your controllers. They're both fired up and you're ready to go. Uh, Rob, are you happy? Yeah. Good. Well, of course, we can't play the game until we shout the catchphrase. It's Let's Do a Gaming. One, two, three. Let's do a gaming. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. I'm just going to check in with chat. Uh, I can't, somebody, somebody on the internet has got strong opinions about Tales of the Hedgehog, which aren't appropriate for this gig. Uh, but let's do a gaming from Vault Morgan, Aaron 24 Wood. Uh, Richard, if you can press start, please. That'll kick us off. Richard is going to be Sonic the Hedgehog at the top. Beck has the bad character, Tails, the rubbish fox, at the bottom. So Beck, Beck at the bottom. Both get a good speed dash to start. And again, those win conditions are score, time, rings collected in total, rings carried over the line, and number of item boxes open. So it's not just about getting to the end fast. There are other ways to win this. Um, we'll play three rounds, or if somebody's won after two, we'll call that it. Richard seemed to just jump over the uh, item box rather than get it there, but yeah, yeah, up yeah. to you. You're, just, you're obviously going for time. It's a long game. That's Whoa! Right. Whoa! They get the swap. Horribly confusing. You swap places. Sunk the hedgehog at the top is Richard. You need to jump to get rid of that. That's oh, right. No! Oh, my ring! You have to die. Get a ring. ring. Don't die. We can't go back if you die. Don't get killed. Okay, you've got the save point at least. No, nope, that's not how you use it. You've got to stand still to use a speed dash. Oh, Beck, no. you talked a good game, but Richard Soames is doing... Uh, no, Richard's going all the way back. What? This, no. What happened? Oh, no! Uh, what's going on there? Has that glitched? That's before the beginning! Oh, he died. You completely died, Richard. Don't blame the game. Blame oh. the player. Uh, Beck Hill now in the lead. I'll be honest, we've used this a lot on Go 8-Bit and uh, on Wi-Fi Wars in the Video Game Game Show. It's never taken this long to do the first <laughs> level of a game. Uh, but we've, uh. Oh, they've got the swap again. This might never end. You've got to go to a gig, Richard. Come on. Finish one level and I'll be delighted. Pre go against okay, the there thing. you go. You've got the boost. Oh, no. no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Richard's done it. Richard is finally over the line with 121. Beck Hill has to How finish so we can see how you've got on. Players, do not touch anything once Beck finishes this because we want to check in with the scores. Uh, press right if you can, Beck. It's the, the end's that way. Uh, yeah, I need to smash a wall. They, you, you're, oh, oh, you can, can you get through there? Go back and you can jump up, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So stand still. This, is, this has just become sort of tutorial now. <laughs> uh, there you go. One of those. Nah. Oh, it's not working. Oh, no, you need to find an alternative route. This is a pity. What? She's at a dead end, is she? Apparently she's at a dead end. I, I was also married, so I've got no life, idea. Mate. But you Story must finish this. How have, you, <laughs> how have you done this? Oh. No, language. You're live online, please don't swear. Flip, flip, flip ah. indeed. No! No! Get what? on that lift. Go left. Go. Don't no. run. No. Do I just thought I'd die? I just thought I'd... I'm taking me forward. Oh, it's taking you forwards. You were behind your own checkpoint. That's ridiculous. All right, we'll just keep pressing. Press right to win. <laughs> it's Sonic the Hedgehog. This is the worst. Ah! <laughs> 
incredible. Don't touch anything. Uh, can we have a round of applause for Richard for finishing the level? Shame on you. Um, let's check in with the scores. Let's just make it official. So, Richard had the highest score, but only by 100 points. Fastest time because he completed it. More rings, more turtle rings. You did get more item boxes, but that's worth nothing. That is a first round win to Richard Soames. Well done to you. We'll go to round two. Are you feeling less confident now, Beck? Uh, no, because you said the narrative thing, so I'm, I'm doing this for Oh, this the is all hustle, is it? This yeah, is going to hurt yeah. so much if you lose this now. <laughs> uh, we'll go round two. Rob, let's just have the next level, please, because it might take a while. Uh, Richard, can you press start again, please? Yes. Thank you very much. So once again, Richard is Sonic the Hedgehog on the top. I'm going to check in with the internet and see, how, see what they made in performance, Beck. Um, just loads of laughing in capital letters. Um, never mind the coins, just go. <laughs> Bemo says, I shouldn't have voted for Beck. She's stuck. Round oh, oh, says, oh this I'm is sorry. I'm going to throw the game now. Uh, sorry. Uh, and that was dreadful. <laughs> Says Metal Fairy, so just a little bit of a, a boost for you there, Beck. Yeah. But surprisingly well behaved. If you are watching on the internet, thank you. You're being very, very well behaved on there. So well done. Richard going the wrong, wrong way. way. You both talk, like when we had the practice earlier, you both talk like, oh yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog, it's fine. You're both dreadful at this <laughs> yeah. game. Uh, 30 seconds gone. Richard is about to oh. dial some spikes. Oh no. You've got to, just wait, don't jump it, wait, it will disappear. There we go, Richard, now getting another item box. Gonna, don't fall in the water, you'll oh, die there. No. It's all right, it looks like Beck's going to get this one. That is more satisfying. No. Stand oh, still, hold down no. and do tap, tap, tap to get speed. So if you're standing still, you can do a speed dash by pressing down. You have no rings at the moment, Beck. Please don't die. Please don't die. Richard Soames, a massive five rings. And he has got momentum now. He's looking like he's going to do well to the end. You're doing very, very strong, Richard. It is looking good for you on speed. But only six rings, ten rings now. You've got a few more. Come on. Beck, Beck crosses the line first. I'm sorry I doubted you, Beck. Richard, we're going to have to wait for Richard to finish, but he's not far behind you at all. He is nearly there. Final couple of bits. It's got, so this is going to be about... It's, it's closer. Don't touch anything. You just have to press right. You just press right to yeah, win. Press yeah, right yeah. to win, mate. Uh, look at that. So, all five win conditions are Beck Hill. Yeah. They're not your team. Online, they are no doubt going nuts. Yes, whitewash yeah. recovery. They're very happy on the internet. Not so much here. That yeah. means it does go to the bonus stage. This is now a sort of faux 3D thing where you're running down a tunnel. Whoever's got the most rings at each stage will win that stage. Oh, There's three yeah. stages, I think. We'll find out. Good luck. Here it comes. You'll be fine. It looks really nice, this. This is the best bit. I wanted it to be one also. We saw this. Here we go. So, oh, Richard nice. is Sonic. T uh, Tails is back. You want to be in front. So you need to jump so you're in front to collect the rings um, and move left and right to get them. So at the moment, uh, Richard has five. Beck has three. Five all now. But Tails in the lead. They're getting more. 17, 13, excuse me, by seven. Beck has the advantage. There'll be several stages to this and then one of you will try them. It comes all the way down to the bonus stage. Like we wanted it to on go 8-bit, but we white it was 2-0 to Sam, wasn't it? 23 plays 8. Tails the Hedgehog has the advice. That's the first round. It's not over yet, mate. That's first round to Tails. That is one win to Tails. Richard Soames needs this second one to stay in the battle. And currently in the lead, five rings plays two. Come on, Richard. Take it all the way. Eight plays five now. So Tails a two-point advantage. If you get hit, you will lose your rings. You need to avoid those bombs. Sonic now mopping up loads. 16 plays 10. 18 plays 10. 20 plays 12. It's looking like a Richard Soames round. We are going all the way. Beautiful. 21 plays 14. Well done. One all. Go back, go back, go back. It's not over. It's not over. Show us the game. Thank you. Here we go. Nil, nil. Third round. I believe this is the last one. It all comes ah! to this. Soames takes a knock. Nine now plays nothing. Richard can't get in front. Beck just mopping up. Ah! Loses them. Four plays zero. Richard's still yet to pick up any coins. There he goes. It's 5-4. Ah! He is in the lead. 5-0 now. Beck takes another knock. Can Richard do it? Six plays two. He's not bothered. those up. Nine plays six. It's so close. Ah! That is a victory for Sonny. That is a win for Richard Soames. Oh my goodness. Let's see what it does to the scores. Ooh. We needed that. Did it? Yeah. I've got, now got to look at the set list and decide if we've got time. Oh yeah, we've got time to do both things. That's fine. Uh, let's check in with how you guys voted. Who voted quickest? Uh, Pope Peter again in the room and police driver. Very quick. 0.13, 0.41 seconds. 20 something, the best of the internet. 1.28. Uh, overall scores, please, Rob. Who's in the lead now? Pope Peter, where are you? Pope Peter, right down the front, that's amazing. Uh, fake David Gray and Gav the Sparky, second and third, but you're, you're, you're 42 points in the lead. That is exceptionally strong. Well done. It's, it's yours to lose at this point, mate. That game could be yours. Um, we're going to play a game that you
you're all going to play now, everybody on the internet. So guys, grab your phones, everybody get your phones. Um, you're going to want to go landscape, go widescreen for this one. Um, so the important thing to know, if you're watching this for the first time, or if you're here, because a lot of you, this is the first time you've seen it, about three years ago, um, Rob got Pong working with about six people. Um, he then managed to get it working with 20, 50, 100. He broke the Guinness World Record in 2016, 286 people playing Pong. But it's actually the easiest thing in the show. It's just two buttons. It's like the vote. Since then, he's added more buttons on games like Whack-A-Mole and Track and Field. He started beaming games into your phone like Pac-Man. But the next thing is by far the most complicated thing he's going to do, and even more complicated tonight, because what Rob Sagebeer, all hail King Rob. All hail King Rob. What, what King Rob is going to attempt to do now, and it'll, it'll keep sound like, sounding like it's impressive enough, and I'll keep saying things. Rob Sedgebeer, without installing anything, any device, any browser, any operating system, is now going to attempt to beam a 3D first-person shooter into all of your devices, both here and anywhere on planet Earth on the internet, and through the laptop he's got sat in this room, he's going to attempt to network you all to make that a multiplayer deathmatch you all play against each other. It, no, it's insane what we're about to attempt. I really hope it works. I know. Uh, is it, uh, anybody familiar with the game Doom? Yeah. Okay, good. It's not Doom because we can't afford it, but it's very similar. It's a game called Boom and it looks like this. Um, so let me explain. It's a bit complicated if you're not used to first person shooters. Uh, so allow me to explain the controls. If you touch the left half of your screen and move your finger up, down, left, and right, you'll move around the world, forwards, backwards, left, and right. If you touch in the top right of the screen and move left and right, you will rotate. And if you tap in the bottom right, you will shoot. The idea of this game is to kill the enemy team's blobs. So, Royal Institution, you are the blue team. You want to kill the red blobs. The internet, you are the red team, you want to kill the blue blobs. You will get multiple bullets and health, so it will take multiple bullets to kill each other. If you run out or are low on either, you can pick up more bullets and health around the map. But basically, if you're on the blue team, kill the red ones. If you're on the red team, kill the blue ones. Whichever team is best at that will win the round. That is the game. Rob, are you happy? Yeah. I'm very excited. This is insane. Uh, we need to find out how many points are at stake. I'll come back to you. Richard will have another yes-no question uh, to ask everybody to set the points at stake. I know you weren't expecting that, but it's okay. You're an improvising comedian. That's very true. Uh, the next question is... Um, is time linear? Is time linear? That's a lovely one for the Royal Institution. Yeah. Is and it's a short one for typing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, that's better. Yeah. yeah. That's how you spell linear. Lin he can't spell linear. Is time linear? Place your if you think time is linear, pick yes. If you think it isn't, which it isn't, pick no. Is time <laughs> linear? Yes okay. or no? Two seconds left to make your minds up. Good luck, everybody. It's going to be a high one, surely. Uh, you've all gone for no. Okay. 63% say no. That means there are 63 points at stake. That will help either team. We are now, without installing anything, any browser, any operating system, going to attempt to beam a 3D first-person shooter to all of your devices anywhere on planet Earth and compete this room against everywhere else on the planet. Good luck, Rob. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Is it working? They're there, look at that, 153, we've got a few new players, 154. Rob is now going to put you all into arenas. How many arenas are we going for with that many people, Rob? 16. 16, so you're all in arenas of about 10 people. Uh, if you're on the blue team here at the Royal Institution, kill the red ones. If you're on the internet, you're the red team, kill the blue ones. Good luck, Rob, this is insane. I'm, you're doing so well, it's amazing. Uh, the loudest one ever, because he's earned it, the Let's Do A Gaming. One, two, three! Let's do a gaming! Good luck, everybody, here we go, and we are off. I should warn people, if you have got a very old device that doesn't support 3D stuff in your phone, this might not work for you, but it's clearly working for most of you because the points are going up already. Uh, and I can tell you that after 10 seconds, the world have 4,000 points, the Royal Institution about half as many, 2,600. So, a lot of gamers staying at home on the internet doing a lot better than the people here at the moment. 74 seconds left. It is 13,000 plays, 6,100. Um, only a few people in that arena. Some of the arenas have more than others. It does randomise it to a certain extent. And to be honest, we never built this with the aim of doing what we're doing now. Um, there's going to be a lot of work to do off the back of this um, oh no. based on how... Oh. Uh, I'm going to say well, how well it's gone tonight. Uh, this is the day one for us in terms of making this a thing that we can do. Um, so thank you to everybody here and also watching online um, for being part of that. It's a very special day for me and Rob. Um, for everybody in the room who's not listening to me anyway because they're busy playing games, but you will be able to watch this online after the fact. We'll be uploading this to our YouTube channel, so you will be able to go back and watch this show as of tomorrow. Uh, and with 35 seconds left, uh, some of you might not want to because it's 38,000 points to the world, 20,000 to the Royal Institution. If you're in the building, you're playing for individual glory on the scoreboard now because the internet oh, no, are absolutely I'm crushing it. 22 seconds left, 45,000 points, <laughs> plays 24,000 points. Oh, no. If you get double what they've got, that
that is a real crushing defeat. And it looks like you're on for it. Can the world get twice as many points with half as many players, Rob? Their score is being weighted, but only accordingly. They are twice as good as the players in the room, I'm afraid. I'm sorry for people in the room, but 56,000 points plays 30,000 points. It's not quite double, but it's close. And that is a huge victory for the world. They're angry. They're very angry. The world are delighted. They're all typing their scores in. They're very, very happy. Let's uh, let's see what it does to the scores. There we go. 169. Yeah. That number again. Plays 135 for Richards. Uh, but although your team didn't win, you struggled on that one. Some of you might have done well individually. Let's check in with the top 10 and see how you got on. Ah, oh, there we go. Look, we've got a lot of reds on there. So Iron Nuts are big in. Evie Daisy, M's, T, the great Kai, I'm guessing. But Ruby, 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 Ruby and Diamond Lord, where are you? It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You're, yeah? It's not your fault. They were rubbish. You were great. Um, let's see what that does to the scores overall, please, Rob. Okay, Popita there, but only a 10-point lead now. Fake David Gray is coming for you, and the great Kai is not far behind. Uh, Rob, happy to do one more? Okay, good. Don't worry, I will get you to your gig on time. You're so <laughs> nearly there. You can do this. I'll stick you in a cab. Uh, we're going to play one more video game, uh, and it's slightly different, and it does rely on the captains a lot. Um, it's not a real video game, but it's one Rob created that allows you all to play in different ways. It's a game called Penalty Shootout. Allow me to explain how it works. In a moment, we're going to start playing this Penalty Shootout, and the idea is to score goals. When your team is kicking, you've got a grid of nine on your phone. Choose where you want to kick. The system will average that out and kick it somewhere. In goal, will be just one person and one person only. Only. Your team captains, Richard Soames and Beck Hill. So make sure you're logged in your phone and you're ready to go, please, Richard. And uh, Beck, justify to people why you're, you are going to be awesome at this game because they're going to vote for you and think it's going to win. I'm not. You should all go for Richard and then we can get loads of points when I do win. Nice. Okay. So all vote for him so you get loads and loads of points. Yeah. Richard? Uh, cricket's my sport. Cricket's my sport. All right, never mind. Well, they're both going to be rubbish then, but that's all right. I should also say this is the final round. It will be for double points, just like on the go eight bits. So twice as many points at stake on this one. Uh, oh, all right. Yeah, you didn't have to do that then, but that's all right. Lovely. Uh, so we're going to do a final vote uh, based on what you've heard from the captains and their performance tonight. Who do you think is going to win? If you think a Richard Soap is going to win, vote for Richard. If you think Beck Hill is going to win, pick Beck. Go. Here we go. Beck is voting for Richard and encouraging them to do the same. Richard is also voting for oh, Richard. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're doing the same thing. Yeah, doesn't it? Vote for Richard, apparently. That's what we want to do. Now, at least your phones work. That's a relief. Please make sure you keep them active now. This game doesn't work without you. Time is up, and they've gone... Oh, they've ignored you, but it has skewed a little bit. 60% wow. to Richard. There are 120 points at stake. Is that enough for a win? It is. It's a close one, isn't it? Good. So either team could win this based on your... 40% uh... of people think that I'm going to win despite telling them to vote for Richard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but they, they yeah. really believe in you. And that's Thanks, a, that's I think that nice just thing. shows how many people don't want to vote for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of an insult to you, really. Yeah. All right, well, good luck. For the final time tonight, let's do a gaming. One, two, three. Let's do a gaming. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. So you, you're a blue team here at the Royal Institution. Choose who you want to kick. Beck, make your choice I've now. Lost it. Oh, no, it's, it's been now. Away. No, 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 you've gone back up the public. Go to Rob. Quick. Beck Hill's going to get her phone fixed while Richard Soames goes in goal. She's Rob says we're very quickly going to fix it. Yeah, she saved it because she didn't move. Her phone binned out, so she stood there, so she gets a save. You've been massively Yay. mugged. Never mind. You can do it, though, Richard. The right. internet's sort of believe in you. <laughs> Make your choice now, please, Richard. If you're watching on the internet, please choose where you want to kick the ball. Time is up. It's not a save. It has gone through, I'm afraid, Richard. That is 1-0 to the internet at the moment. We uh, go to the second round. Beck Hill's phone now working. She makes her choice. She doesn't want to show Richard. Make sure you don't show the internet on the cameras either. Oh, and it's another what? save. Oh, my goodness. This game's really hard to do well on, but she's already got two saves. We could really do with a save at this point, or it's going to be 2-0, Richard. Get underneath it. Two seconds left. Make your choice now, please. The internet kick. That is the wrong corner. Oh, mate. I'm so, so sorry. 2-0 to Beck Hill. Another save here would be incredible. Can you make it three in a row? Tell, the, tell them where she's kicked it. Down. Down. Too late. <laughs> Too late, it didn't help. Uh, that is a goal, a goal for the Blues. Uh, now, uh, Richard, we really do want to see a save at this point to keep things interesting. Yes! When it counts. Yes. When it counts, no one else believed in you, but I sort of do now. Okay. Uh, it is 2-1, we're round four, Beck in goal again. You can pull this back, Richard. We're looking for another goal here from the Blues. Oh, Come on, the Royal Institution. They yes. do, that's a goal. A save here will make it level as we go to round five. Of course, if it is a draw after five rounds, we'll get a sudden death because sport, make your choice, Richard, internet. This is on you. You need this goal. They cannot. Oh! I love this. I love you so much. <laughs> uh, if you've never seen this game before, you don't know how exciting this is for us. That's amazingly close. Okay, round five. Blue team kicking. Royal Institution, make your choice. Can they get a goal in? They cannot. Oh, so, yeah. if the internet scores this goal, 
It is a win for the internet. Richard, you must save this. You must save this, Richard. Two seconds left, make your choice. He oh! does! Oh! Why did you go for the top right? So we go to Southern Death, right. round six. Incredible. Beckham oh and goal. My gosh. Need a save now. Any error at this point could be fatal. Gosh. One second left. Beckhill cannot. So a save now, Richard, and despite the doubters, you will have won the game and the show. Can I, can I just interject? Um, the internet have all been playing in goal as well, so it's not any, they're not any losing against. The internet are all playing as goal as yes, well. Oh, all right. Work Something can work in our code, so it's entirely your fault if you lose this now. That's beautiful. All right, <laughs> fine. Uh, good luck. Richard, you are in goal. A save here will win it for the Royal Institution. One second left. It's not. So we go to round seven, and you're going to be late for your gig. Round yeah. seven. Uh, you can run away as soon as your team wins. It's fine. Four seconds left. Sure, Beck Hill now. Time. Round seven of five. Make your choice. It's a save. Oh. She, sta she stands her line, gets a save. So, Richard Soames must save. Good luck. <gasps> Does oh. not. That's a goal, and that is a win for the internet. Yeah! Sorry. Get I really out. hoped you'd win because you're here and you can boot oh, us. It's over. I'm so sorry. Uh, Richard, commiserations. Beck, well done to you. Um, do you actually have to run away right this second? Um, as close to this second as possible. We're so nearly finished. Okay. Uh, stay and celebrate uh, your uh, your defeat. Uh, the, important, the important thing is not about which of you guys won, it's actually about which of you has won overall. So Rob, can I have the final show chart? If you can give everyone up here some applause, these are your top 10 players all night. First up, at number 10, it's Gav the Sparky from the internet. Well done to you, Gav the Sparky. Number 9, it's Crochet Ninja, also online. Well done to you. Number 8, it's Poe Peter, 45, did not cling on. Football, not your game. Number 7, the great Kai, well done to you. Number 6, it's another red big bad Tom 8. I know they're not here, but go on. Top 5, it's Bimo, well done to you. Number four, it's Sir Biggin. Top three now, the three best players. Fake David Gray, couldn't do it either. Number two, it's M's on the internet, but our number one player winning the game. It's Iron Nut, well done hey. to you. Let's see the scores. Here we go. 602, only seven over M's. Wow. Poe Peter, football was a nightmare for you. I'm so, so sorry. Um, my laptop's locked, so I don't even know what we're going to do. Oh, I know what we're going to do. We're there, aren't we? Um, so there's one more thing to do. If you're watching online or if you're here as well, in a moment, we're going to beam a form into all of your devices. If you would like to, you don't have to, but if you would like to, put your email address in there. Then after the show, we'll send you a transcript of all your scores out of 100 for every game, so you can compare them to your friends or each other. Um, and next time you play as well, see if you do better. Also, we'll attach an A4 certificate with your team name, uh, your name, and all the details about the show as a souvenir. I think this is the first time anyone on planet Earth has done that. Um, all hail King Rob! All hail King Rob! We're going to say goodbye to you on the internet. Uh, we'll see you all again soon. Clap that because he's clever and say goodbye. <laughs> and we're clear.